In this episode, I'm gonna explain why the heck I bought this A-liner hard side pop-up camper trailer and uh, what the heck I'm doing with it. So, uh, yeah, this thing's super sweet. Let's dive on in, you. What the heck am I doing with this trailer? You can't overland with this trailer, Phil. I know, I know. Anyways, <laughs> what's up you guys? I am going to be showing you my A-liner hard side pop-up camper trailer, A-frame, a uh, little tiny home camper uh, cabin type feely, feely dealy pop. Specifically though, I'm gonna tell you why in the world I bought a trailer and what's going on here. Uh, but first, let's dive into some details and show you what's going on here. This thing pops up super easy, like real quick, I don't know, 60 seconds or something. Um, and it's all hard sided. And I really, I really like that. Uh, it only weighs 1100 pounds. So the new rig, which I'm gonna reveal in the next video, which is actually right behind the trailer. It's being hidden right now. I gotta do these. I'm trying to catch up for you guys. There's a lot going on. Anyways. Um, 1100 pounds so this thing tows like a dream uh, I don't know it's like 12 feet long or something like that I didn't really care how long it was I knew it was short enough um, so anyways let's check it out we've got some storage on the back we got the trash -a -roo. Uh, I'll start with some stickers that I put on here uh, these stickers were a transfer this is my 395 sticker my Oregon Dempster Highway Explorer so yeah I figured hey I've been here the camper hasn't but that's okay so uh, yeah over here Doing a little shout out. Of course, we got Yoder Home, Adventure Brad, Howard Overland, Live Work Wander, Three Amigos. We got some X Overland. On the side, you'll see this is actually an AC unit, which I could live without, and I actually would kind of prefer not to have one. I usually travel with the weather, um, and I like to not have the weight and have it sticking out, but it's already on there. I'm not gonna take it out, so it's kind of cool to have. Uh, this door, as you can see with the pop-up, it's plenty big and they do swing together and then they also unlatch right here uh, so you can, you know, have one little door if you like. Loads of storage on the outside. This goes all the way through to the other side so you could use this for, you know, fishing poles or skis or, you know, anything long. Um, I honestly don't need this much storage it's also got a storage up in the front here uh, which I've keeping some stuff and dual propane tanks so this a liner is the expedition model which comes with this fiberglass storage in the front it's a little bit higher a little bit taller ground clearance and it comes with trailer brakes which is cool also really quick I wanted to let you know this video is sponsored by Olight and they're doing a really cool sale all of the sale proceeds for the i5T will be donated uh, to go towards medical costs to help fight the coronavirus. So that's pretty cool. You can get this i5T for 25% off, but if you bundle it with the new Warrior X, you're gonna get 40% off. This bad boy has a 2200 plus lumen output, but the coolest thing is it has a 600 meter throw. So it throws a huge circle. So the link will be below, check that out but I absolutely love this trailer. So let's give you some more details on that, Phil. Right now I have it hooked up to my Max Oak Blue Eddy 1500 watt hour power station, little Jackery solar panel. So I'm gonna be doing a, a video about this power station as well. So stay tuned for that. This thing's pretty awesome. But yeah, the camper has all the amenities you'll see on the side here. She's got the outdoor shower. You can access the fridge in here. And uh, of course the fridge is three-way propane. 12 volt, you can switch it from 12 volt uh, to 120 right there, which I love. So we run it on the 12 volt when we're driving. And then right now it's actually on um, 110, 120 uh, and running to the uh, Max Oak power station. Um, it's all just plugged in really nice. So we're testing that out. Heater vent here, um, water fill. It's got a nice heater. Let's head on inside and show you what's up in here. So of course the nice traditional camper steps, you got your fire extinguisher, your little stuff going on here. To the right you'll notice first is your dinette, which you gotta have a dinette. Um, we got some snacks over there, little Mavic Mini drone. The uh, 
first owner of this built these storage spots in here um, and this dinette used to extend out into there but uh, yeah he built built these green light in there that's kind of fun check out how spacious this bad boy is I'll take you up in here cool so so this is our uh, sink area or our kitchen of course we got the sink with a fun little cutting board Sink works great. You got a little light, of course. We got all sorts of lights. We got this little drunk guy hanging out here. We got our three burner suburban, which we'll make some coffee on. I decided to get some beans this time and I got a grinder. So I'm gonna hand grind and hand press my coffee with the AeroPress. Doesn't get any more hippie than that, bro. <laughs> then we got our Dometic fridge down here. Um, Great size little fridge. They had a deal on Lunchables. <laughs> so I figured I'd get a bunch. Um, I am trying out the Camp Chef 14 inch Versatop pretty soon. That whole system with the artisan pizza oven and the barbecue box attachment. I'm really excited for that. Uh, and I'm gonna get it hooked up on the back here for my outdoor cooking on this rig. Uh, so I kept, I decided just to keep this trip pretty minimal and um, got some Lunchables and things for now. Haha, <laughs> I love it. This camper is so awesome. It's so spacey, spacious. Check it out. I can't even touch the top. The very top. Um, but yeah, I love it. Like the space that you lose on the sides here, which would be like right next to your head right here, it doesn't really matter. It makes it cozy. You're like, nah, because you have this view. Ah. So yeah, I just love it. The dinette's a great size. You can put the dinette down sleep some other uh, person here a dog a baby whatever and of course you got your queen size bed over here so the queen size bed also comes up I'll show you and this piece here can come up and kind of make into sort of a couch deal so you can slide this back um, and slide this back and kind of hang out here we got these flip up tables here as well um, so you can even get in here and have like make this into a table or um, you could have at least two people very comfortably over here and one person here and one person over here at this table oh. <laughs> um, just like eating or doing whatever even working fluorescent Ooh. But yeah, I love this trailer. It sets up so, so easy. Um, and it just looks so homey. At night, it feels really homey as well. When you have all the lights off, these curtains and the windows and the way that the light comes in here like an A-frame home, um, it's just a beautiful thing. And uh, it really just makes you feel great. Um, of course, we got the home sweet home sign here from the Dodge Mahal. If you didn't know, my grandma actually got me this and I was so excited when I got it. I was like moving into my camper and I'm like, this is the perfect gift. Like there's not many things you could buy me that I'd be so excited about because I've already got kind of everything set up um, or at least I did at the time. So anyways, I was excited about that. Decided to uh, put some Denali stickers here. Tribute to Denali National Park, one of my favorite uh, areas in Alaska, happy camper from Eastern Sierra in California. Um, so yeah, we're starting to get it, starting to get it looking fun. And certainly need to add like my own twist in here. Um, but those are the couple little things I've added and um, definitely want to start. I was thinking about doing some painting maybe, but uh, so let me tell you why I bought this. This is going to be a temporary home for about four or five months. And the reason that I got this is because so when we're building the new rig there's obviously going to be a lot of work that's going into that um, a lot of that's going to be happening in Oregon and I'm going to need a place to stay while the new rig is you know under the knife so I figure I can pull up in any parking lot unload this thing uh, have the rig inside the shop for weeks or whatever on end and uh, you know be no worries um, I'm thinking I might sell this in Oregon once the rig's done. I might tow it back to Arizona. I'm not really sure, but uh, that's why I bought it. It's just temporary. Um, I got a really good deal on it. Let's just say I paid less than uh, 
a really expensive rooftop tent um, for everything and everything works and I'm very, very beyond ecstatic about uh, this trailer, how it works, how it tows, uh, how it feels, um, just everything. It is just the most fun little camper trailer that I could imagine for its size. Um, uh, I should have mentioned it's got a max fan. It's the only thing that doesn't seem to be working right now, which is no fun, but I can fix that. Two roof vents, which is weird. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching this video about my humble little new home. Uh, like I said, this is temporary, and you're going to see a lot about the new build coming. There's a lot going on on the channel, so I don't blame you if you're maybe a little bit confused. So I'll give you a little bit of a update. So we've got the Arctic series going. Again, that's for my trip with Ashley from Washington through Canada to Alaska. Um, I'm probably going to have 20, 30 episodes from that. But that was all last year with the Dodge Mahal. The Dodge Mahal sold. Now we got this new pop-up trailer um, only for a few months as we build the new truck into hopefully one of the most off-road capable home on wheels is ever. So stay tuned. I'm going to release probably in the next week or two what the new truck's going to be. I'm also going to be showing you these Arctic videos uh, and just all sorts of stuff. So I'll help keep you up to date as much as possible, of course, though. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this bad boy. Be sure to click the link below to check out the Olight flashlight sale where you can help support uh, medical supplies for the coronavirus. Make sure you subscribe. 2020, it's going to be the best year yet, and I'm stoked to have you here. The question is, are you down to mob? <laughs>